casting artificial granite version 3.0, so here are the four candidates for stone casting, silica sand, granite grit, basalt powder, and desert sand. In the next step, we're not measuring out the water glass, remember, we don't have a scale. Instead, grab your mold, which in my case is a plastic pudding cup, and pour in about 1 cm of water glass. It must be undiluted, in fact, I usually boil mine down to make it even thicker. Into this roughly 1 cm layer of water glass, I start spooning in the dry, catalyzed mix. It's crucial that all this is done below the surface of the liquid. That's the secret to producing a bubble-free stone, just like natural rock. Working underwater forces the bubbles upward to escape. So all I do is spoon it in, then crush the clumps. I repeat this as long as I can work under the liquid level. Once I can't, I pour in more water glass and continue. When the submerged fill reaches the height of the neighboring stone in the quote-unquote wall, we stop. What do we do with the excess water glass? We can't tip a 10-ton stone out of the wall to pour it off, and we're not going to cheat with the plastic cup either. So, poke a hole somewhere low on the mold and trust that the liquid doesn't need instructions, it'll simply flow out. On real ancient stones, those nubs may have been shaped so the liquid could drip off into a bucket instead of running down the wall. As you can see, with this technique the nubs are basically optional. 